Gruesome Magazine. Hello once again, I'm Doc Rotten, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week, my co-host Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dreyer, and I will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we are reviewing Let Me In, featuring Let Tobin us in. <laughs> and I'm out of here! See ya! <laughs> awesome. let, 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 let Me In is a different one. That's the one about vampires yep. actually getting a TV show. You will confuse this as oh. well. No, it's Let Us In. Thank you so much for correcting me. Uh, and uh, yeah, featuring Tobin Bell, which I think will attract many horror fans. Yeah. yeah. All right, joining me tonight is my crew, starting off with Jeff Barr. Jeff, how are you doing, sir? I'm, I'm good. Am I? Let me in. Ah, there you uh, go. I should have uh, rehearsed it. Let us uh, in. <laughs> hey, Dave's not here, man. <laughs> <laughs> also joining us is Crystal Cleveland, the Living Dead Girl. How you doing? Oh, I'm great. Are we going to find out whether this movie is ugh, on fleek or not? I can't oh, even hardly. Go. I can hardly say the words. I think I can somebody's... hardly say them. 2017 called and they want their slang back. I can't. They, did, they also used shart, which was kind of cool. So. Yes. yes. Shart is fine. Shart is actually, you know, no one uses shart anymore. So you can use shart all you all you want. Okay. All right. Oh, rounding out the, the first night, speaking of shart, um, is the one and only day. Oh, that's Yay. a good one. Doc. I, I don't know if I like being compared to shirt. I have to think about that. Oh. Oh my I think that was an insult. I'm not sure. <laughs> Shartific. I'm shirtastic. Shartastic. Yes. Uh, he, he's, oh boy. He's our shirt. <laughs> going in that cage. I'm the stain that don't go away. The cage goes in the water. <laughs> Sharts in the water. Our shark. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> isn't, and Jeff, Jeff is just quiet up there. He's like, mm, yeah, ch no, children. Yeah, yeah, I'm not children. playing this game. <laughs> no. uh, I'm thinking about the slang I use from the 1960s. That, uh, apparently, that, if it's that old would enough, be cool okay. again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's cool again. Like I say totally all the time. Yeah, and groovy. I'm sorry, I'm never groovy. getting rid of totally. See, groovy's fine. <laughs> groovy. Yeah. Rad. The dad said rad. And then did she's he? like, I didn't know you were so hip, dad. And I'm like, oh boy. Yeah, he said we, rad, but then he did some Yeah, like thing. dance things, yeah. yeah. We always we always said far mop instead of far out. Far far mop? Far mop. My my roommate was a major in farm operations. Far, far oh. Mop. <laughs> Farm That's up, interesting. It's, a, it's an Iowa thing. Don't try to understand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, we we digress. Our eyes. Yes, yes. Right. Uh, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to give huh. our first impression of the film, and then we're going to uh, we'll, we'll be spoiler free during that time. Then we'll discuss the film. We'll dive into a few spoilers. We'll try to keep this one spoiler free, and then we'll wrap things up with our final thoughts, our score, a one to five, and our favorite scene. Uh, so that's that's what you want to stick around for. Trust me. All right, let's take a look at the card. What is all this about? Let us in. <laughs> On Demand and Digital, July 2nd, 2021. Director is Craig Moss, uh, written by J.W. Cairo and Craig Moss. Cast includes Mackenzie Moss, hmm. Sadie Stanley, Mackenzie Ziegler, Sienna Ugadong. I figure like I, I may have mispronounced it. O'Neill Monahan and the one and only Tobin Bell. The synopsis is a spirited 12-year-old and her best friend look to uncover the sudden disappearance of several missing teens in their small town, realizing there might be something deeper happening. Emily and Christopher might be up against forces they can't even imagine based on the urban legend, the black-eyed kids. Nice. Um, and uh, I think what we discovered, and we'll do this before we get into it, and Crystal warned me about this before we... This is, this is essentially... A kids horror movie. Yeah. What is it rated? Do, do you know? Did you do you see a rating? It's got to be it, at the at the maybe PG thirteen. I'd be not see a rating on uh, IMDb. Yeah, I don't. Um, I think it's unrated, but not because it. I think just because it hasn't been rated. Mm -hmm. But it is very 
TV friendly, very kid friendly. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think the scariest, you know, part of it is the first five minutes and you, you know, before you realize it's a kid's movie uh, and you're wondering what's actually happening. Uh, so I guess we want to just kind of, I just want to throw that out because I think it helps me. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to make sure everybody listening understands it too, is that this is basically, uh, you know, a, a kid's horror movie and can, well, it doesn't mean they can't exist. And there have been plenty of kids horror movies that, you know, throughout the decades that have, you know, stood the, st stood the test of time. Um, you know, I would, I would dare say like Frankenstein and the Wolfman or Frank, I've been cussed out Frankenstein would be in oh, there. Yeah. Um, for now, now they're yeah, safe. Definitely now. Right. Um, of course, what, uh, monster squad, Goonies kind of things. Um, well, the goosebumps is really goosebumps, goosebumps, simple, yep. you know? Yeah. And mm -hmm. this is in that, but maybe a little lighter even, right? Yeah, I yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so with all that being said, let's dive into <laughs> our, uh, our first thoughts. And you know what? We haven't done this in a while. Dave, you're up first. Dave. Mm -hmm. Yay. Uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, didn't have that information going into this uh, last night. I actually, for whatever reason, thought this actually was some type of a sequel to Let Me In. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was like, well, they made it because I knew the I knew the TV series was coming up, and I'm like, hey, what they like they made a sequel to that? I, I so went in blind, didn't know what it was. And you're right, Doc. After like the first five minutes, you're like, oh, oh, okay. Well, this isn't mm -hmm. what I thought it was. But with that being said, I'm always appreciative of a film that I can like you know share with like maybe my older grandkids who are uh, in the horror, you know, every time they come to grandpa's, they come down to my little horror cave that I sit in down here and they're always fascinated by it. So this is one that I would, uh, that I would sit down and watch with them. Um, uh, it had kind of a real, um, like a stranger things type of vibe. Um, I, I, you know, I enjoyed it. I liked, I liked the, uh, uh, the little boy, you know, and how they were trying to contact, <laughs> uh, they were trying to contact space aliens in the garage. You know, they had this wild setup thing and, uh, they were trying to do that. Um, I guess it was cute. It was it was kind mm -hmm. of a cute movie. Um, mm -hmm. You know the 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 guys with the you know, will you let us in? That was all kind of Oof. stupid. You know, yeah. and really the, the tag the tagline should be <laughs> Tobin Bell on a porch because that's yep. what we just see Tobin Bell on a porch. We see him on a porch at the beginning. He's on a porch in the in the middle. He's on a porch at the end. Tobin Bell likes his porch in this movie. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, and then we get a little soliloquy there in the center where, you know, he explains everything. It all, yeah. all kind of ties things together. Um, and then the, sh the little the little stinger at the end there. Yeah. Um, you Which know, I mean, used to be more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was kind of a day player in this. I mean, he really was. He's not in it much. I mean, all his screen time all told is probably, what, seven minutes, eight minutes? Right. Probably. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, it's, it's the best part of the movie, though. Uh, yeah, I, nothing else just for his voice. I mean, he has that way of, uh, you know, that delivery that he's able to do. Um, uh, so, but once I realized what it was and I, and I kind of got into it as a, like kind of a child fantasy, uh, light horror film, I, I actually kind of liked it. It yeah. was lighthearted. Yep. And there's stakes, believe it or not, there's stakes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I kept thinking though that the, that girl. I think I kept thinking about that other little girl from Psycho Gorman. Oh my god! <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, what a different movie it would have been with her. Oh tomorrow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to watch that movie again. All right, Crystal, you're up next. What was your first impression of Let Us In? Okay, so if you weren't going to pre preface this about it being a kids thing, I was going to heavily preface <laughs> that too because. That needs to be very clear because I went into this not knowing and then I figured it out quickly. And after I did, I started enjoying it. But before that, I was like, oof. Because you see the characters, the let us, will you let us in? Like earlier. And I was like, God, oh, wow. They're kids and what uh hoodies black hoodies mm -hmm. Ooh. i was like i will i will just knock you the hell out boy you better get out of my face like so uh after i realized what was going on i i liked it too i i think that it is very light hard i actually i think the hardest part of this movie is her dealing with her past stuff and that mm -hmm. actually was a pretty messed up mm -hmm thing that happened yeah. and it and it made me a little sad 
it also made me laugh a little because I messed up like that. Um, when, 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 yeah, mm-hmm. but, um, I think that everyone did a good job. I think they did a good job for what this movie is for. There's a lot of silly parts, like the story, the premise is okay. And it kind of, it, it fits together and it's cohesive and it makes sense. And yes, of course, Tobin Bell's easily the best part of this movie. And he looks really good in this, doesn't I mean, he yeah. looked really good, I thought. You know, in the Saw, we're kind of used to seeing him sickly and he looked great. Um, there's some part of, parts about what's happening that are a little cheesy. I don't want to give any, I guess I don't want to give anything away, but the cave, some of the cave stuff, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, that's cute. But, but for what it is, I'm, yeah, I, I like that there's, I truly think that this is a, a good kids horror movie. I think that for kids, this will be scary because the whole idea and concept of it, I think is scary mm-hmm. for kids, you know, being taken away or kidnapped or whatever you know that's scary so i i liked it i mean is it for all horror movie lovers oh my god no 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 i think a lot of our crew crew will be like no but yeah if you have some younger ones to show this to i think that it's not it's a nice introduction into scary movies yes i think i think you're right Jeff Moore, mm-hmm. sir, you're up next. What is your first impression of Let Us In? Yeah, I think we're all in agreement on this. Um, I think it it is a pretty good example of kind of an entry level horror film for kids. Uh, it what I felt like I had a feeling of like an after school special almost. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, like mm-hmm. like you know, for an adult anyway, I could see where the scares would come from, but we've seen so much of that. There's several tropes that are involved in this, but for a young kid, and if you're in a family that, you know, there's a lot of families that don't let their kids watch horror mm-hmm. stuff. They're pretty restrictive. So, but this one I think is, is uh, good natured and uh, positive. I like the uh, girl that, uh, that plays the 12 year old Emily mm-hmm. uh, McKenzie, Mackenzie Moss. I, I thought she did a pretty good job and she's the center of the movie. Um, she plays this sort of sweet. She also, we see because of what Crystal was talking about, she's got this past tragedy that uh, she's basically bullied about at school. Mm-hmm. And uh, she she doesn't, you know, you know it's bothering her, but it doesn't seem to, uh, she doesn't take any guff, you know. No, no. Um, they do it, but she stands right up to it. Um, I kind of like, it sort of, it sort of transforms, I don't want to give anything away, but to me it sort of, tr- it, it it's genre crossing, let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. Um, it starts out looking like one thing and, and it turns into another thing and I think it does that nicely. Uh, yeah, the little kid Christopher is, could he's be a so little much. <laughs> he, but he's very cute, he's very cute. Uh, and he, he's apparently an electronics genius. He just all, oh it just starts wiggling knobs. <laughs> Can communicate, but it's awesome. He is much um, though. I mean, he's clearly a caricature. It's but well, it's, and he yeah. and he ends up providing the motivation for the climax, <laughs> right? For mm-hmm. for Emily to take these these certain actions. So, and and I think it's got a message. You know, in the end, there's a message that's kind of built around this this tragedy that she's had in her life. So, I, all that stuff is in there, and I think you know, I don't know if they still have stuff like that. I'm 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 an old fart. Uh, um, I've watched horror movies with my grandkids and I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, and, uh, but I think this is a, this is a good one. And it also has a, a common thing. I think it, it's, it's sort of a common trope, but I think they, it's well done here. The, uh, why won't adults ever listen to us thing, you know, for oh, yeah, kids. Yeah. Mm, you know, yeah. Just, yeah. Although one does. Of, Yes, one does. One does. But yeah, so it, it's enjoyable, but don't go in there thinking it's like it's not an all out horror film. There's no gore. There's no mm-hmm. sex. There's no drugs. There's no uh, kind of felt like sort of a, an hour and a half, you know, goosebumps or maybe even amazing stories from back oh, in the day. Oh, amazing mm-hmm. stories. I, that is a good, yeah, because yeah, yeah. those always kind of wrapped up happily. Hmm. Yeah, I think you know as far as even cussing, I think the you get a shark and then a biatch. 
And that's about it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, she did say ratchet, which to me is almost a bad word. There you go. There you go. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I'm with you guys as well. I, you know, um, I, the movie has a lot of heart going into it. The characters have, um, there, there's a lot going on with them that, you know, a lot of films like this wouldn't have enough of. And you really do like our two leads. Um, and, you know, they, they're, they're the outsiders. You always want to, you know, we always root for the outsiders and everything. And um, they end up being the ones that, you know, have to step up to save the day. And like you said, it's got all the, it's almost tropes. I mean, they are kind of tropes, but mm -hmm. it handles them well and it treats it seriously. And the, the, all the cast is really strong and, and promising. So I think that's what it's got going for it. Now, hard and core horror fans are not going to get anywhere near this. Just, just know if you're looking for, <laughs> you know, something gory and slasher, you know, go, there's plenty of other opportunities. This is yeah. not my phone. No. Um, it is, it is definitely made for, uh, you know, this would be a television movie of the week, a lifetime kind of movie. Um, this could be on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Easily. Yeah. Nickelodeon. Yeah. Um, and it's, and it's perfectly, perfectly fine for that kind of film and it is a good gateway kind of horror thing to get a kid into it whether they like it or not um i think the only thing that kind of really even in this context doesn't work are the, the kids with the black eyes because they're so <laughs> damn silly looking um they they needed something just a little more to give them a little more menace or maybe yeah. that you know maybe they were afraid to take that extra step but or maybe just like I in. think I think if they had done uh like dark all like dark black eyeshadow all around their eyes in addition to the black I think that would have been enough just like dark yeah. grease paint along around you know so it almost looks like their whole sockets are dark I think yeah. that would have helped yeah, cuz basically uh, Ahead, basically, Jack, basically, all they got is contacts and uh, maybe some maybe some pale white makeup because yeah, yeah. they're supposed to be pale. But yeah, yeah. Are, are the black eyed kids uh, a thing down south there? Because I, I, uh, you've heard of them before in your neck of the woods, Jeff, right? They're I've they're heard of them being thing. in Texas. It's oh, no, yeah. we had them in Texas for okay. sure. I think it actually so, started in Texas. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice. To, it would have been nice to see a you know a true a true. Uh, story about that because they are they're creepy i mean you yeah. know when you read about the urban legend of them mm -hmm. uh but yeah they this is yeah this is like they did nothing here except put the full black contacts in yep yeah. and like i mean they so they could have done something with that but mm -hmm. and so that's the only thing that i i think i would really take right for it everything else is pretty solid um i really i i will i before we move on to everything i do want to just say yay for having Tobin Bell in this. Yes, he's a day player, but he brings so much to it. He you oh, know, yeah. the, just being the guy on the like you said, on the porch. So a couple times they go by and he's the guy on the porch. He's the he's the guy on the street that everybody talks about. That's the one that you, you know, even you don't go up to his house on Halloween. Right. 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 And um and he you know, he perfectly embodies that. But what really won me over is when they do actually go to talk to him because he he has some secrets. So that's the reason why he's there. His his performance is really really good, good. And, and, <laughs> I I, and I was like wow it's like wow really, yeah really, it's, it was much better than it needed to be for this film but it, I mean like when the the kid kind of goofily says goodbye to him oh my god fist bump <laughs> yeah he, he was so so, somehow 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 he maintains that you know that gruffness oh, you but, know that was but there's hard. a small grin right so yeah i don't know how he did it but i i i just gotta say thank you i appreciate that so much yeah. it was such you know because he could have easily phoned that in right just oh. and he but he's a professional yeah. like i would never phone in a performance no matter i could be doing the poopiest thing and you know what give it your all no. doesn't matter what it is but that's, the, that's but yeah, so it, uh, there was real chemistry between the two kids and him. It was, yeah, it really worked. There could have been more of that. Um, uh, oh, that boy and him though at the end. Oh hilarious. my god, he's like, I get it, I feel you, or something. I'm like, <laughs> what? No, why? So dumb. Oh, man. Ah, it was cute. Yeah. Okay, so let's just put it this way: it's very after school special because mm -hmm. all everyone in the town hates her. 
And then all of a sudden they all believe her and then they all get behind her. Right. And it just goes, it just jumps there. So that's the kind of stuff that, you know, is in this that you're going to be like, what? But just let it go. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just well, the I, way that it is. <laughs> I, I, think that, I think there's enough in there that you, they can earn it. I mean, it's, it's, it's there, you know, she's once, once enough evidence comes out that they, what she's talking about is true. They, they back her up. Right. Yes. But it's, it's thin. It's thin. I Very wonder, thin. But it, but it like is they there. all meet out there with their lights and stuff. Yeah. I mean, of course, as soon as, and the, I actually, I, okay, I have to say, I have to give them some kudos with the whistle. I really liked the sound. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was kind of unique and I, I, I dug that. There was some, like, there's some, I, I'm not downing this movie at all because it's a kid's movie. And so, like I said, I enjoyed it for what it was. But, yeah, they had some original things, It, you know, I mean. And, and they handled the material really well and respect, uh, respectful. Like uh, this, the, the uh, when she goes to the party because her, her, um, her friend's sister invites her to go. Yes. yes. Um, and and she's stuck with the the bullies at school at this party. I thought they handled that that table you know, conversation and what happens there with a lot of respect for our character, right? Mm-hmm. And even the big bully kind of you saw a little something going on there when yes. when she got up and walked away. You know, so you kind of they. And, and they didn't tell us, right? They showed us that she was starting to change her mind about her, right? So I, I don't know. I thought it handled some of that kind of material really well. Oh, I thought it was funny how she's like, oh, did you make out with so-and-so? Yes. Ew. No, I mean, we didn't make out. I mean, <laughs> I think, I mean, I think it was an air kiss. And like, she goes through all that stuff. So I'm like, yeah, that sounds like kids. Yeah. But that's, that's definitely what you get. Um, I mean, if that's what, if that, if, if you don't want to see what we're describing, then you don't want to see it. But, <laughs> um, I, and it, it, it is, I mean, for us, you know, we, you know, Psycho Gorman is the film that we're after, <laughs> you oh, know, just yeah. to put it in context. And that's, you know, that is the polar opposite of what this film is, even though it has the same <laughs> kind of character at the lead position. Um, but, well, it's super, okay. You just know by the fact that, they actually hired kids of age. Mm-hmm. Like oh. these are not older kids playing. Well, I mean, they may be a couple years older, but I would be shocked if if the lead is much past fourteen. Playing, I think she's really. I think she's really twelve. So see that I, think- I would I would believe it. Like they're all so you know that's something to keep in mind. Of you know, clearly it's geared toward that age. And, and you know, well to. Compare it to like some other films that we have with kids. There are adults in this, and the adults play, you know, fairly big roles. I mean, they're all supporting characters, but the parents are present, the police mm-hmm. are present, teachers are present, uh, neighbors are present. Tobin Bell, and they all interact with our characters to and in a very believable way, right? They're not, mm-hmm. they're not caricatures. I mean, they are kind of in a way, but they're not over, you know, like hilarious, funny characters. Um, the police officer is caring but stern, you know. So it, again, I just thought that the handling of the material um, was uh, was incredibly strong. I think what you're trying to say is it's pretty well written, Doc. I think is where you're I think so. I think yeah. it's fine. okay, <laughs> but I will not defend some of the dialogue. I am sorry. No, well, yeah. I cannot defend the slang. Look, just leave the slang out, like writers. <sighs> It's called local color. Just, no, no, <laughs> it's not. No, ooh, I can't color, even believe the, she. The shark yeah. thing was the shark thing was pretty funny. I mean, they, I didn't like, have a going, problem with the shark with thing the, with the uh, eating of the grapes, and then you know, it kind of goes goes in there. I told you not to eat the grapes. <laughs> there is no self-respecting twelve-year-old would say on fleek. That's just a fact. Like I've had it validated. Like I was like, watch this. Ooh, like ooh, no, Mm-mm. no. When in doubt, leave it out. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, uh, let's wrap things up with our final thoughts, our score one to five, and our favorite scene. But before we do, if you're hanging out with us, one respect because 
you know, if you're fans of the show, this probably isn't the one you were <laughs> expecting to see. But thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed not only this review but others yeah. that we have on the sh- on the on the site and on the stream. Uh, and if you want to help us out, uh, hitting the subscribe button or sharing with a friend does wonders. Thank you all so very much, and we'd love to hear your comments down below. Uh, let's get into it, uh, Dave. Sir, you're up first. Your final thoughts, your score, and a favorite scene. The favorite scene. Um, yeah. I, again, I, we've pretty much talked this one to death. I think we've all, you know, said it, it's it's a well written, kind of fun. Uh, it, it's really not a horror film, so. You know, if you're looking for some hardcore horror action, uh, you're going to want to avoid this one. Uh, but uh, I did enjoy it uh, once I realized what it was. Uh, I like the, uh, you know, the kind of childhood fantasy aspect of it. I was one of those idiots who used to sit in my garage and think I was communicating with aliens on my CB radio. You know, I, <laughs> I did that. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Um, so, you know, it brings back those memories and, and that, you know, that's good. Um, I'm going to give it a 2.75. Okay. Um, yep. you know, it's a, it's, yep. it's a solid watch. I don't know where this is going to land. Uh, I don't, it, is it, this isn't a streaming one. Is it doc? I don't think it is It right now. It's VOD and digital on demand. Okay. So, you know, if you stumble upon it, uh, you know, I wouldn't say avoid it, but again, I wouldn't settle in for your, uh, for your big Friday night, scary flick. Cause you are going to be, uh, seriously disappointed. Um, yeah, the the best scene in the movie, and we're all going to want to choose this one because it's the best scene in the movie, is the the scene with Tobin Bell when he reflects his story, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, you know that little scene at the end with the with him and the little kid and uh, trying to shake his hand and then fist bump him. I mean, that was it was really really well done, and that's the easy one to take. So since I'm going first, I'm going to take that one and make the rest of it work for it. <laughs> you are <a> bugger, <laughs> bugger. All right, Crystal, you're up next. Your final thoughts, your score, and favorite scene. So I'm also giving it a 2.75. I've, oh, nice. I'm totally ever. Yeah. Basically what, you know, knowing what it is, let's make that, you know, but yeah, no, it's not going to be your Friday night horror movie unless it's like a family horror movie night. <laughs> and then I think it would be perfect for that. You know, I, I honestly think it's totally one to show to your kids if you want to get them interested without scaring them too much. Um, so a lot of respect for that. Cause I think it's hard to ride the line between being too scary and so, that's hard. You know, you, is it too much? Ah, I, <laughs> it's messed up because I want to say my favorite scene is the jumping into the pool. I am such a messed up person. I am so messed up. Um, but I'm not going to do that because this is a kid's movie and that is really sad. I'm going to say my favorite scene <laughs> so, is the skylight. Actually, I thought oh, that was nice, a little nice. spooky. Yeah, yeah actually, I like that, that one. Good. Yeah, That yeah, actually good. might give some impressionable kids a nightmare or two. Yeah, they're, they're I think bad. that I think if you have a skylight in your house, you'll be like, <laughs> 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 that's messed up too. You don't, you don't want to scare them that much. <laughs> oh, Jeff, you're up next. Your final thoughts, your score, favorite scene. Well, uh, I was gonna say, uh, no, I think this is. It's nice to have something like this. I would have appreciated having something like this that I could have pulled up when my kids were younger. You know, mm-hmm. when they were in, uh, like say, elementary school, that I knew was going to be safe and I wouldn't have to explain something. I guess. Um, <laughs> The, uh, but again, yeah, Tobin Bell, of course, uh, Mackenzie Moss, and uh, we should, we should mention the kid that played. Uh, O'Neill, O'Neill Manahan, Monahan. Yes, O'Neill yes. Monahan. Uh, another, another excellent job. So, yeah, I, 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 I agree. I think it's hard to walk that line, and I think they did a good job at it. I'm giving this a three, and yeah, nice. Uh, nice. my favorite scene is. Uh, when she says on fleek. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's how it is, huh? That's how it is. That's no. how it is. I see. Mm-hmm. I'll say. It I'll all say, started uh, here. It all yeah, started, it all started <laughs> I know, right? here. I don't think I've ever even heard anybody say on fleek except on television. Good. That's it. Good. So um, anyway, uh, you know. Yes. 
I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. I, you know what? I'm gonna take the uh, the final scene because it was just it was like totally unrealistic and. Oh yeah. Usually, I hate super sweet <laughs> Thacker and stuff, but oh. I liked that. I thought, oh, this is cool. I, I, anyway. So you mean the almost final scene, not the complete final scene? Well, not no. Well, I like that too. I like that too. So so don't don't uh, cut out when the credits start playing because there is a, a oh, short the singer, singer there. Oh, the singer, the singer, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that that is kind of decent. I have no idea what it means, but it's me neither. <laughs> creepy AF. I, I, see, I got that one down. Um, hey. That's probably that's probably old too. That was, no, I, but fine. I like the that's I like the what they what they end up with. You me. know, they're they're leaving the town at the end of the movie, and I liked the the wholesome goodness of of uh, what happened that, after all she'd been through. You know? It is a bit wholesome, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a good a good a good description of it. I I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm in perfect agreement with this. It's it's for what it is. It it. It's solid. It, it's well made. It's well cast. It's well acted. It's it's um, outside of the dialogue. I will concede that it is well written. <laughs> um, it's uh, to me the only flaws are you know the actual kids with the eyes. It just needed a little tweak, a little <laughs> little, little little more to it, and I think I would have been always satisfied. Uh, but I, I, I yeah, um, it's out of. It's not a film for the four of us, uh, but it's definitely a film for kids that want to know what the four of us really like without throwing saw at them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, whoa! So, yeah. uh, so knowing what it is, is is half the battle. And thank you, Crystal, for set, setting me up for that because I would have been like, whoa! Oh. <laughs> I <laughs> thought we were going something different. Uh, so I'm I'm going to give it a three as well. I and that's more on the technical side. You know, it, it's mm-hmm. not in the horror side. If if I do it as a horror movie, it's it's far mm-hmm. lower. But mm-hmm. as as a film that's appealing to kids, and I think it does a stand up job. And Tobin Bell is, um, I am I am. Hey, he uh, this this his role in here, his participation, and what he gave to this film has it really means a lot to me for some reason. And I just really think he did a great job, and I think it's perfect for this film. He's that's the kind of character, that's the kind of actor you want in that role to give it that, that you know, that that level. He gave and, it some depth. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, and he and he elevated the kids around him too. You know, he supported them like uh, you know he didn't take over. He actually rose them up as well. And and that's that, that's craft, man. That's that's that that impressed me. Um, of course, that scene's already been taken, so I can't choose that scene. <laughs> Uh, so what scene will I take? Because uh, the skylight was my second, was my runner-up. Oh, oops. Because I thought that was actually pretty creepy. It was kind of creepy, yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to go when, um, it's, is it, what is her her friend's name? Is it Jesse, Sadie Stanley? Jesse is the sister, I believe. Uh, and, yeah, and she was so cute. Yeah, when, when you know, they... <laughs> when she answers the door <laughs> and the way she handles it and and it gets kind of scary i mean there you know yeah. i think the the idea of being um you know taken in the way that this film does is it's probably um a lot more frightening at a younger age exactly age, right? and that's um, mm-hmm. And the silliness of it probably won't come across. And it, 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 I, I imagine there'll be some kids that will go eek. You know, yeah. That, yeah, right? Um, mm-hmm. But not not overly much. Not overly so. But enough that it'll probably, um, you know, make a, an impression on them. Hopefully. I would love to see this playing all throughout October for kids for Halloween. I oh, think that'd, that'd be, be fabulous. Yeah, that'd mm-hmm. be neat. Yeah. I, yep. And I need to correct uh, the uh, Mackenzie Moss is actually 14 right now. But oh, I that's what I was thinking. Yeah. No, when she was filmed, I'm guessing oh. she was probably about 13. I don't know. Maybe it's mm-hmm. maybe it was just made this year. But she um, still seemed 12. I mean, she totally was yeah, fine. Yeah, I no, just, I thought it was I knew she great. wasn't any older than that. Like, no. it's nice to see. But yeah, I, as opposed to 28 year olds playing 17 year olds. Yeah. 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 You'll see some of our other reviews for that. But I, I think all the cast did great. I mean, even, you know, mm-hmm. the other students that did fantastic. And, 
you know, her, the older friends and the guys at the party, you know, the bro- the other older brother thought I did oh, a yeah. good job. The parents did great. The cop I thought was really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, like when he's when he's in there, because I could I could have chosen that scene that was on my head was when he goes in there and he goes, no, just stay home. If I catch you out, I will arrest you. Does that you know? Do you understand me? <laughs> you know, he's, he just wants her to stay home and get some rest. Um, I and I thought he handled that with, you know, with authority, but yet, um, there was a caring sweetness to it. Yeah, so that, I think they do. They did seem to care about her. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This she's been. So I am looking much. this up a little bit. Sorry to dig so much, but uh, post production it lists June twenty third, two thousand nineteen. Oh wow! Wow. So it's it's so it is so, old. So she probably was twelve or thirteen. Yeah, when she oh, filmed this, they so. took two okay. years to. It happens. It happens. All yeah. right. Well, there you go. There's a. Our probably didn't know of, what to do with it. No, probably not. Let yeah. us in which is uh, streaming now on VOD and uh, digital on demand. So go out there and check it out if it sounds like it's up to you. Thank you for hanging out with us. We hope you enjoyed this review. Dave, Crystal, Jeff, thank you for joining me. This was a fun time. I was a little nervous going in here talking about this, but this this was actually a great discussion. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Doc. Uh, Say good night. Night. Good night.